Robbie Barmer, I'm 19, I'm from Brisbane. Robbie from Brisbane! After high school I started studying business and engineering. For two years I studied that and I suppose something didn't really feel right. And I think this last year I've sort of realised that I should be doing something that I really love and that's music. I've sort of been playing guitar and singing since I was about nine years old, but I always get pretty nervous, you know, singing in front of people. My parents are executive coaches, so they're hired by companies to train employees on how to be better leaders. And they've been able to give me some advice as well on, on sort of how to handle myself on stage. My bit of advice is that every person in that audience is wanting you to succeed yeah. and they actually want you to be really good. We're, we're in awe really of what he does. He's um, to be able to just stand up and out comes this performance that you, um, you sort of think, wow, that's, that's our, our son up there. You started off strong, it's like sounded real angelic, and then you hit this like a moment in the in the in the song, and it, then you were in your head. But when Joel and Kylie turned around, I was like, "Cool, this is great. He's in good hands." Yeah. You were exposed a few times, but it was the emotion in your voice. I love your falsetto, and I hope that you would come to Team Kylie. Thank you. Great, great rendition of the song. I love that rendition. Uh, I could hear the nerves. It's really hard up there, I know. And I know what, what leads up to this moment, and, and there's so much pressure, and you handled it really, really well. So, congratulations. I, I would love to work with you. You're young, so you have some developing to do, and I, and I love artist development, so I, I'd love to be a part of it. Thank you. Man, very intriguing. I want, I want to hear more of you. There was a lot of sadness and a lot of nostalgia that I found very beautiful and passionate for someone your age. Let's tell the world what you're all about, man. Thank you, yeah. Do you always sing with so much falsetto? Yeah, I think for that song, it's, uh, it suits it, so yeah. But you're, so, yeah. you're open to yeah, absolutely. going yeah. here, here, not there, <laughs> not there, just here. <laughs> it's your decision. Yes, who are you going to pick? <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, well, thank you. Um, I'd love to work with all of you, it'd be an honor. Um, um, if I have to pick one, I'd probably go with Kylie. Child, a child 
You can really hear Jackson's classical training. Jackson is very connected, he's direct. Robbie doesn't have any of that, but what he has is charm and mystery and a delicate ness to his voice that, that draws you in. I love both your falsettos, by the way. I think that's what had me hitting the button blinds. But it would be cool to hear what it's like in chess voice. Kylie threw in the idea of bringing the key down a little bit because we're sort of in falsetto for a lot of the song. Let's give it a go. I've excused you for a while while I'm Yeah, obviously it's, it's a lot different when you're, you're singing a full chest voice and, you know, you've got to put a lot more sort of effort into the, into the voice, a lot more force behind it. Guess what? The other one's so much better. <laughs> so let's go back to doing the other version. Yeah. Let's it's take true. this to the next level. It's going to be Battle of the Falsettos. Excuse me for a while While I'm wide-eyed and I'm so down caught in the middle Excuse you for a while While I'm wide-eyed And I'm so down caught in the middle <laughs> And if life, life Was with you not listen And if a child A child Turn a blind eye with the stair caught right in the middle. And have you wondered for a while? Have a feeling deep down you caught in the middle? I hope there's a save coming. Robbie. Ladies and gentlemen, Robbie Barber is the winner of this battle for Tim Kylie. It's so long since I've seen your face. The song I've chosen to sing is Burn For You by John Farnham. Beautiful song choice. Probably not a really easy one to sing, but one to get really lost emotionally with. I'm a huge In Excess fan, and so when I was singing the song from Kirk, it's pretty nerve-wracking. We heard more of your lower register. So far in the competition, the songs that I've been singing have been introverted ones, and up on stage I've been a little less animated. Got myself into some trouble tonight Guess I'm just feeling blue wow. It's yeah. been so long yeah. since I've seen your face 
It's confronting seeing yeah, yourself back. Wow. I got to see my blind audition and, you know, I didn't open my eyes once. You know, I was really sort of introverted on stage. So I think it's important tonight that I show that I've progressed, which I have, I think. I have to ask, how did you develop your stage presence? Was it just through experience? Trial or? and error. Really? It's just experience. Absolutely. There's no shortcut to learning your craft. Even now, I might see something back and think, oh. Yeah. You're hilarious with your questions. Yeah, I know. This, this is a once in a lifetime of opportunity, so you certainly don't want to waste it and well, ask any questions. If we were on a plane together to London, you'd be able to ask me many of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the most important performance of my life. You know, to be able to go across the world with, with Kylie Minogue would, would be unbelievable. have an amazing onward journey from here, I know it. But Robbie, you're coming with me. Congratulations, Robbie Balmer. You are the last finalist. Robbie has managed to get all of our attention with a mostly introverted performance, but he's not the shy guy that we all think he is. <laughs> This trip to London, he's really coming out of his shell. And I want to see that on stage. By my side in excess. Yes! <laughs> By my side. Yeah. 
definitely a trillion percent, a million percent. You get to shine in that. Massive shoes to fill there with, with Michael Hudgens, so I guess I'm slightly nervous, but I'm confident that I can, you know, work hard and, and put in a good performance. In the dark of night Those small hours Uncertain and anxious I need to call you And rooms full of strangers And some call me friend I wish you were so close to me In the dark of night So for the second live show, Kylie's given me a Coldplay song, The Scientist, which is, which is one of my favourites. This week, mm. we have another level yeah. to get to. Now that we're into live shows, all of the artists are getting fans in the audience. I may have had a few texts from girlfriends going, Oh, really? <laughs> may I may have, have, yes, I may yeah. have. <laughs> Robbie's confidence has grown and his showmanship has really, really just come along so quickly. Come on, come on, just give me one, just give me one, give me one hutch, go on. Yeah. <laughs> one of the reasons I picked Kylie was because she can really help me with my stage presence and my confidence on stage. She's obviously very good at that sort of thing. What about In dropping two knees? What about... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. A knee slide. <laughs> yeah. I do believe we, we have a rock star on our hands. chance of still becoming the voice of Australia is. Robbie Bobber! <laughs> <laughs>